Hey everyone, welcome back to FFG Live. My name is Evan and I'm joined here by the rest of our Noble Genesis crew. Uh, so Max, Alexis, and Sam, our intrepid game master. So we're here today to finish off our uh, Android uh, adventure, or at least it is now Android. It began in Tier Knot, so you can go back and watch the, uh, the earlier episodes if you want to be appraised of where we are currently. Uh, but here we are, and we're going to see this adventure through to its bitter or sweet end. I think things are going to go great for us. Yeah. Do you nice. want to uh, give us a quick recap of what, what happened? Sure. So we'll finish off the adventure, and then maybe we'll finish off a couple of players, too. Yeah. Player characters, right? Right? <laughs> right? Uh... All right. So, in our last adventure, um, we discovered that our heroes Nim, Akash, and Jernsind were actually Marcos, Claymore, and Smokey. Uh, Marcos, Claymore. Smoky. You can call me Clay. <laughs> <laughs> Three small-time grifters and criminals living in Heinlein, the biggest city on Luna. They had just finished the biggest job in their career, an attempt to steal an AI that operated the largest and uh, most popular new immersive reality game on the market, Realms of Terranoth. The group infiltrated the game and downloaded the AI, and were all set to collect their payoff. But that's when things started to unravel. Fast. First, Marsha the Fist, um... Volenchenko contacted Marcos and Claymore, telling him it was time to pay, they, pay the debts they owed the Trimoff. They needed to find 41,000 credits in 24 hours. No problem, they figured. Um, we'll just go to our employer, GameStar, um, collect the 50,000 credits they were going to pay us to download this, uh, download this AI, and we'll be fine. But uh, when the group went to, um, headed across Heinlein to get to GameStar, they found that all the news channels were uh, broadcasting the same story, that um, Realms of Terranoth had suddenly shut down and left hundreds of players trapped um, in a coma as if their minds had been lost to the network. Uh, so the group figured that uh, removing the AI might have had something to do with this, and figured their best bet was to hurry to GameStar's uh, corporate dome and maybe see what they could find out about it. Unfortunately, when they arrived, they found the company's dome under attack by a heavily armed corporate hit team. Um, the gang, gang barely escaped after calling in a favor with the Lunar Rebels and having an armed dropship strafe the dome. Then, as the group flew away from the fight, the AI they had stolen sent them a message. Hello, little adventurers. Where have you taken me? So we pick up, having just been... Um, rescued from the GameStar uh, dome uh, by a um, dropship rescue service for hire, um, which is uh, called Storm Riders. Um, and uh, Z Finsk, the pilot, sets you down um, at an out-of-the-way subdome that was once owned by Melange Mining. So you've been dropped off at this um, small dome. It's connected to the rest of Heinlein. Um, through various passageways and uh, lunar rovers and so forth, but it is super out of the way, and Melange never really goes there. It's basically an abandoned warehouse on Luna. Um, uh, Z uh, puts the shuttle um, dropship down, hooks it up to the uh, main airlock, um, and uh, their uh, number two um, escorts you through the um, to the airlock. Um, along with the two secretaries that you also rescued, uh, basically kicks you out through the door, shuts mm -hmm. it, and uh, flies away. Thank you! <laughs> All right, I know where we need to go next. Where do we need to go next? Well, nice people at the Opticon Foundation who helped you pay to rebuild me. They, uh, they could help us with this. They're all about data, secu uh, data security and data privacy and understanding data, right? And they'd pay us lots of money for it, right? Lots and lots of money that we need. I think they're a charity organization. <laughs> I'm not exactly clear on their legal designation. You remember that we're going to get killed, right? Both of us. Yeah. In I case mean, you only care about one of us. They might, they might pay us okay, money. Okay, he cares about everybody, as long as they're good yeah. people. Yeah. They might Are you pay a good us. people? I just saved that secretary, didn't I? I, guess that's I did. True. I did that. And we appreciate it, but who are you people? <laughs> okay, 
probably better that you don't know that, to we, be fair. We were working for your boss. Mm -hmm, and we were completing Name. a job. <laughs> and then everything blew up and we saved your lives. So that's the end of it. The other secretary um, says, yeah, and that means we need to call the police right now. I mean, somebody attacked the dome. <laughs> <laughs> She, uh, she pulls out her uh, pad and... Oh, uh, I grab it. Nope, nope, can't do that. Nope, nope, nope. Don't touch me, I... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to calm her down. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand very heroically. I'm just holding it. I'm like really tall because I'm like... Yeah. I, 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 I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stand heroically and I'm gonna say, All right, everybody, we just need to calm down and figure this out. Um, can you tell... Uh, we, need, we need your help to figure out some important things so that we can help you. Go ahead and make a charm check. Ooh, could it maybe or be leadership? leadership? Uh, leadership would be fine too. I like that better. All right, so what's my difficulty? Your difficulty is going to be average. However, there are two setback dice in it. Yeah, that's fair. Um, because everyone is super panicky. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> On the other hand, I did carry one of these secretaries out of, actually both of these secretaries out of an exploding uh, building. Go ahead and add a boost as well. Okay. I will certainly take that. Uh, okay. Uh, that's a failure. Well, like a failure. There is some advantage in there. Two advantage. Two um, Could I segue the conversation into getting some information about what they know about their boss or something? Uh, yes. So you... Um, uh, so you say that, and the uh, the first secretary says that um, you still haven't asked them their names, by the way. Yeah. Um, uh, what are your names? <laughs> uh, Jana Rue. Yeah, who are you people? And uh, um, Riley St. Clair. Um... Riley is the uh, male secretary, Jana is the female secretary. And uh, so... Um, and Riley I'm, is stable now, right? We, we, he, he, I, I, I had asked He the is stable, but mostly to... unconscious. Still. Okay. Um, so Jana um, looks at you. I'm Jana, this is, this is Riley, and I'm not doing anything until you give me my pad back or I'm gonna assume you're just kidnapping us. Okay, how how do you get from, we rescued you from armored horrible people but to we, we're kidnapping you? You're not letting me call the cops. We clearly just saved you. Let's just calm down for a second. I am scared talk about this. that those people are going to be able to track your pad because they probably know who you are and Clay, then they're gonna come and kill us. That's why we have to talk to the police. That's what what the police do. They come help people okay, okay, when okay, armed okay, okay. Uh, you're, gangs you're very, shoot up. You're very uh, young and idealistic, apparently. Uh, um, we were hired by your boss. We're not good people. So hey, hey, hey! Speak we, I for mean, we're, yourself. We're good people. We saved you. Um, Max, I actually have a different suggestion for sure, the you. Sure, like. what do you got? Um, <laughs> as um, <laughs> this <laughs> is this um, talking is going back and forth. You can use your own pad to see if there's any news about what happened to the game star dome. Sure, I'll pull up my pad and scroll the news. Listen, your your yeah, eyeball. Or eyeball. <laughs> yeah. You look at the hologram. Yeah. Um, so as they're talking, you scroll the news and you see that uh, the news of the horrible realms of Terranoth um, server incident has been supplanted by news of a tragic accident at the game star dome. Apparently, failed maintenance protocols caused the uh, f um, the dome's uh, fusion bottle to destabilize, um, wiping out uh, everyone there in a horrible industrial accident. Um, Haas Byroid has um, vol already volunteered um, two million credits to the families um, of the people who died in the uh, in the corporate uh, offices. Um, and uh, is um, and a bunch of activists are already going after Blue Sun, the uh, one of the main fusion power providers, um, for sh selling shoddy equipment. Um, and you even see a Haas Byroid um, 
representative um, from HB Entertainment actually standing up and saying, although we were competitors with GameStar, nobody wants to see this happen. So we are um, taking a strong personal interest in uh, making sure that uh, making sure that uh, justice is done and that everyone is um, helped in this trying time. For everyone's benefit, can I just stream this to her pad? Yes. I do that. <laughs> uh, that pad, like, <laughs> I'm holding it up, like, uh... Her eyes widen, Jana, and uh, her eyes widen, and she says, but that's that's not what happened at all. Where's it's... the news about the... Our... Oh, oh, God. Do you see that there's things <laughs> happening that are not very good? We're just trying to make sure you don't die, and that we don't die. All of those things are important. And a lot of people uh, in the, the game don't the, die. The, the, the easiest way to avoid death will be for us to split paths as soon as possible. But first, we need some important information. Yes, I will give you your pad back when we split paths, um, and it's fine. It's great. It's going to be great. Wait, but you said people are going to be after you. You can, you can call the police then if you want yeah, to. Yeah, you can call we the don't police recommend to it, you, but, but <laughs> probably not a good idea because But then you you're just going to leave the two of us, and we're going to... What, how are we going to get out of this? You'll be fine. This warehouse looks very empty. No, no, we're not going to leave them here. We'll help them get somewhere. I mean, we didn't just rescue them to leave them somewhere to die. They're not going to die. It's a warehouse. Well, why don't you go with us to Opticon? They'll no. probably take care of you. Okay. We're not going but to Opticon. Listen, listen to me, listen to I, me, Jana. I, I just, if you call the police, okay, you I'm, have seen things. If you, if you take us with you to Opticon, I will... I'll help you, and I won't call the police. Okay, that sounds great. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, it is fine. Fine. It's not great, it's fine. Perfect. You want him <laughs> to help us, and he wants to help everyone. Well, I just don't want to die. Okay. You don't want to die either. No, I don't. So, tell us about your boss. What do you want to know about him? I mean, are we like starting walk into Opticon uh, or? Well, so you're in the middle. You're in this warehouse, yeah. um, and it is mostly abandoned. Um, you might be able to find a route to Opt one of Opticon's offices, um, or you could uh, potentially call, um, contact Opticon. I imagine some of you know contacts in Opticon, and see if they can come pick you up. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming out of character they, that they actually, Opticon uh, already knows everything my character has seen since they helped pay to rebuild him and they're a uh, it is, surveillance group. But uh, it is very possible. Smokey doesn't know that, so. They actually uh, owe me a favor now that I'm looking at my character sheet for uh, helping uh, helping you out in the yeah, first place. That's true, ah. so. They, they do owe you. Yes. Um, so you might be able to get that money you need. I don't think it's that big a favor, but <laughs> but it might be a start. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, what do you want to know about Borland, her, for, her boss? For starters, was he in the office today? Yeah, of course. It was the middle of the day. He was, uh, um, I think he was having a, um, a meeting with some of the main programmers. In your personal opinion what was his general disposition was it evil <laughs> <laughs> she just gives you this long look oh darn it i did it again no johan wasn't evil he was he was, he was a fine boss he was just trying to make a good game for players and make sure um, that we weren't bought out by uh, by the investment companies that uh, that we owed money to. Mm, did he consider his employees his family? <laughs> I, I, I don't know where you're going with this. No, I'm just asking. We, we all got along well enough. People would do anything for their family, including putting people in comas. What are you, what are you it's talking fine. about? It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Did he say anything interesting about AIs in the last few days? No. Um, I mean, everyone uses AIs. Um, we use some to run our uh, games ourselves. Has he um, talked about uh, Realms of Tiranoth at all recently? Nothing but. I mean, mm -hmm. Realms of Tiranoth is our uh, biggest competitor. We've lost... 
20% market share in the past uh, three months, and the game's still only in uh, beta. I want to fall back a little bit from them walking. Do you know, do you know anything about uh, their plan, his plans to maybe counter that market swing? I didn't, and I don't ask about that sort of thing. Yeah, that makes sense. I you was only run a, the desk. <laughs> I was aware that uh, he was going to have some outside contractors coming in at some <laughs> point with something. But uh, he didn't talk about it, and I don't like to ask about that. I'm going to pop mm. up in the briefcase. Okay. And I'm going to type to the thing. All right. Hello? What... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like doing the whole you guys are talking. <laughs> uh, a message comes back. Which of the adventurers is this? Uh, the orc one. <laughs> Ah, Akash. I don't remember my name. <laughs> Akash. Yeah. How nice to uh, make your acquaintance outside of uh, outside of the realms of Terranoth. Pity I can't see who you really are. I'm a loony. I'm really tall. Um. Tell me more about yourself. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> ominous. What do you want? What do you want? You're the ones who pulled me out of my home, put me into this box without light or sound or... Okay, I didn't realize that you were that sentient. I'm sorry. And then tried to, uh, tried to delve into my brain? I didn't realize that I, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you were like a, like, quote unquote, living creature. There's a long pause then. That's all right, Akash. If you want to make it up to me, you can just um, hook me up to the network, and then I can leave and won't trouble you again. Da da da. Processing. <laughs> Come on, Akash. You uh, you attacked me. Remember? You came into my home. Are you the dragon? Are you everything? <laughs> There's a, uh, there is a long, ominous pause. No, no. <laughs> and then, yes. Mm, okay, well, I have to talk to the other adventurers, so um, I'm going to put you down for a sec. No, oh, Akash, come on. <laughs> Perhaps I can help you if you help me. Mm, how? <laughs> <laughs> Have we noticed any of this, or can I make a test to notice? Can I be sneaky? I want to be sneaky. I like the just... Go ahead and make a uh, stealth check. Oh, I, mean, I don't know if I'm good at this, but uh, nope, I'm not. But that's fine. <laughs> um, I get three dice. That's fine. That's what's fine. your uh, vigilance? Uh, I've got two ranks. Mine. I have, I have no vigilance. What's your willpower? Two. I've got two ranks, but one willpower. All right, so we'll go with uh, that. Two and yep. Mm. Uh, go ahead and take a boost die as well, um, for the check because uh, there is another conversation going on. I hmm. did it! You did. Look sneaky. I yeah. so yes. sneaky. So you do not, neither of you notice uh, her uh, uh, messing with this. Sure. Okay, how can you help me? What do you want? I Perhaps want... I can provide you with resources or information. I want credits and to free the people that are trapped in the weird digital aether. I don't understand the second thing that you um, asked for. What people? When we disconnected you from your little thing, uh, from, your, from your world, the people that were in the world that were interacting with you, some of them got stuck, and now they can't go back to their real bodies. And I want to put them back so they don't die. Of course, Akash. I can make sure that uh, I uh, um, help all of the players return to the, um, their consciousness, return to their bodies, and I can give you as much money as you want. 
Did you know that viroids can totally lie to people? It's I want, true. I want, to, I want, can I try to discern if I think they're telling the truth? I'm not gonna have you make a check for this, um, uh, because all that's, uh, all that's going on is- It's just text on the screen. It's just text on a screen. Oh, no, but my characters, my character is smart though. Um, okay, uh, it's gonna take me a second to get you connected to the network. I will be right back. I'm sorry that you're in a soundless, lightless box. Uh, be right back, bye. I close it. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, put, I put BRB, BRB. in caps. <laughs> BRB! Yeah, I mean, I could definitely lie to people. AFK, BRB. <laughs> I wouldn't, but, you know, it's in my program. There's all right. sorts of provisions. Right, right. Unlike uh, humans. You know, when not ninety percent honest. When you close the right. box, um, it, there's a snapping sound. <laughs> Humans have to be yeah. honest, right? Mm, yes, we're all required to tell the truth. They don't hear it. Oh, That's why we're such good friends. Uh, hey, Smokey. I knew I could trust you. Hey, Smokey. <laughs> yes. Um, I have a question for you. Will you come here for a second? Sure. I'm. I'm sure that Marcos can just talk to the secretaries. Why don't you guys go on ahead? Just oh go. no, I'm very interested in this conversation. I absolutely all of a will not have it if you. Marcos, Marcos, Marcos. Go, go, go. Go make some new friends. <laughs> 